good everyone this is jan from new york city and my channel name is jan from new york city saves money how's everybody doing on this monday morning monday monday i know i know it's a bad habit hey where's my tall one actually it's in my beautiful red cup it's not so tall but it's definitely nice and large enough for me to enjoy my first cup of joe in the morning what is it about that first cup of whatever that you have when you wake up i don't know you know we're talking about uh, money today and you know in the midst of all this frenzy and, and chaos and sense of non-semblance and things you know there really there really is a brighter way there really is a silver lining coming up one day we have to look forward to that and things will get back to normal I want to reassure everyone listening and i'm telling you this from new york city so if i could say this from new york city i could say this anywhere and uh, you know what i'm trying to say so just hang in there hang in tight you know there were a lot of things during so-called normal times that you myself others all of us have been guilty of saying and one of the most famous or infamous things that we love to say is gee you know i, I didn't have the time to do this I didn't have the time to do that. First, we're going to categorize that phrase in the form of money issues. How many times did you say, well, I didn't have time to write down that budget. I didn't have time to figure out clever ways to save. Well, guess what? Right now, many people actually finally, in a way, do have that time. Why not take that time, if at all possible, if you really do have that time? I'm not saying everyone. But if you do have that time and you can do it, and there were a bunch of things that you put off doing that ultimately at the end of the actual day become a future money savings, then consider doing it. And I strongly suggest, for example, that you just sit down with either a cup of joe or a cup of tea or put on some pleasant music in the background. If at all possible, be free of distractions. If you know what I mean, if it means unplugging your phone for a half hour, then so be it. Or closing the ring up because, you know, phones do ring and phones, even though we love them, we need them at times can be very, very distracting. And I really do recommend that you put on some nice, pleasant music. I don't know. Maybe it's a throwback to being a kid. How many of you out there used to do your homework with the radio on? Talking about kids from like my generation. Yes, you know, a, a 60 plus kids, if you will. So I guess it's a throwback, but actually to have on that nice background music is actually a help. So either if you're doing it by yourself or sitting down with a significant other to figure out the best possible way to plan future budgets, to cut down on the non-essential expenses. And actually some people have to put this in like the highest gear times infinity right now exponentially. So this is, you know, a good opportunity. Take this as an opportunity to sit down and get rid of some of that clutter and putting down these ideas in writing. You know, I used to always say this to a friend. I had a friend that sometimes, you know, used to get a little mixed up and, you know, we used to talk and by the end of the conversation, that person felt a little better. And there were times that I was a little mixed up and my friend would put a sense of semblance back in my brain. And that's the idea of, of having friendship. But, you know, like when, you know, when you just sit down and just like talk it out and put things in a logical sense. I said this one day and I used to say this all the time to a few friends. The difference between success and failure is that usually the person that successfully had a good successful outcome almost always and with great certainty had a plan. So you could apply that theory to anything in life, but if we're talking about money today on this Money Monday, we could apply this to finances. Now, some of us are going to uh, receive a check from the government in the form of a stimulus uh, plan. You heard about all that. The question is, and only you can answer that, is what are you going to do with that? Uh, it's possible that some people, if not probable, that some people are applying that check to essential bills. Um, it's possible that some people are able to put it away in savings. I know some people feel well, this is you know not enough. Whatever, whatever your individual circumstances, if there is a possible way 
that you could take an amount from whatever amount you get and put it away in your future emergency savings, great. I commend anybody for that, if at all possible. Now, if you're using it entirely for an essential bill, you have to do that. You have to do that. And that's just the way it is. Now, I hate to say I told you so, and that's why I'm not going to say it. Because I was listening to, let's just say, on a different platform, somebody was kind of like, I told you so, I told you so, I told you so, you know, in their writing to people that, oh, you should have had an emergency fund. Oh, you should have done this. That is not, in my honest opinion, this is not the time for people to put their prophetic finger in your face and go, I told you so, I told you so. I think that's in horrible taste. Just saying, just saying, this is not the time for this. This is the time for a little more empathy. No, a lot more empathy and a little compassion. In my honest opinion, stuff like that goes very, very far. So, okay, so here we are in the midst of this, and we can regain control of things. We can do things. Look around, and let's focus on all the things that we can do at this moment of time. Uh, some people uh, actually you know, have an opportunity to rearrange their furniture. That's free. Uh, some people have had a couple of cans of paint left over in, in their basement for a long time. They, they wanted to touch up, do some touch-ups around the house. Hey, if you have the, everything there and you have the time and you're able to do it, I say go for it. Some people are finally going to get to figure out ways to cut down on their expenses on purpose. I say go for it. Every single thing is a benefit. Try to find a positive in every single 24-hour period that we've been given. Remember, basically, we only definitely have today. Nothing in this life is promised. But every well-planned for today can soon become a less worried free tomorrow. And in the meantime, this has been Jan from New York City. Thank you so much for listening. Why? Because I really do appreciate your time. Hey, don't forget to come back tomorrow for the Tuesday's Practical Video Show. Have a safe and happy day, and I'll see you again real soon. Have a great day. Hey everybody, thanks for being here, thanks for being awesome, and I really do appreciate every single one of you. Have a great day.